People care so much about Instagram followers. Unless you're like me and you just don't care. I'm almost to a thousand by the way, follow me. Today we're gonna try to hack Instagram by making a follow bot and trying not to get banned. I actually don't know how this video is gonna end. Hopefully it doesn't end too poorly because um, I like Instagram, you know, and I don't wanna lose my account, but if I have to sacrifice it for YouTube, so be it. Let's start building this. We log into Instagram with our bot and go to the explore page. When we follow people, we can assume there's a reasonable chance they might follow us back. Of course, we're gonna have to find the sweet spot where how often can we do this without Instagram flagging our account with suspicious activity and hopefully it doesn't cause any long-term consequences for my account. I'm gonna be using Python 3 and Selenium to automate our browser and allow our bot to pretend to be me. This code will open a Chrome window, go to Instagram, and then log us in. And again, we did this all in the last video if you want a full tutorial. I got to the Explore page, selected all these images into a variable, picked a semi-random number out of the first 10 that we can open. Now with 5,000 likes, are we gonna get a follow back? Maybe not. Every time between actions, we don't wanna always pause for exactly two seconds. Maybe we wanna pause for, for a range of uh, one to five seconds so we look more like a real human being and not a robot. If we're doing two likes and a follow every time, that could be a problem for us because Instagram is trying to catch these bots. So what I'm thinking is we do anywhere from one to three likes, then either follow or don't follow before going back. Yo, are you gonna click her? Oh, I think it worked. I think it worked. Yo. So it looks like we're just gonna be following hundreds of Serbian girls and I, <laughs> I'm not confident they're gonna follow me back. Like chance equals point seven two. Okay, in theory, this should run forever. This is just going to keep going. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, that's not good. I'm following too many people. <laughs> Follow. Yo. I think we probably need a, a little bit more scrolling, a little bit more browsing. 45 to, let's just do 70. That's something we could leave running, dude. In the meantime, we can do a little bit of database action and then we could just get a simple setup like this. Let's see if this worked, create table users. Let's do one, insert to DB. So when we hit follow, it'll insert them into this table. So it should just do totally nothing for a minute. Okay, pause is definitely working, so I'm just gonna go do other stuff. Okay, the bot's been running for about an hour and we followed 19 people. <laughs> now, once I followed one Kylie Jenner Kardashian account, all the accounts after that, except for one, were more Kylie Jenner accounts. Inevitably, you will become a Kylie Jenner super fan. <laughs> so I think it's about time to go to the discover hashtags and not explore. Oh, most recent. We're getting the new pictures like right when they're posted, hot off the press and capture those people who might actually follow us, follow us back. Breaking news, we got another follower, possibly still from YouTube. Kylie Glow one okay. Got the Kylie Jenner, wait, 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 who's this dude? No way, she liked my picture? Dude, why she like my picture when I'm looking handsome, dude? Oh, man. Wait, what was I doing again? <laughs> 
I got a girlfriend with Python. How about that? We need around 10 hashtags so we can get it constantly, you know, refreshing and updating. Set of new pictures. Broader ones are kind of good because there will be more pictures more often, you know? Let's get a single hashtag out of that list, pseudo randomly. <laughs> Dude, I could, I could have majored in math, man. Look at that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a complete app. Just gonna let this one run for another hour. So I let our program run. It was following about one person per minute, and then I went to get food. When I came back, well, there was a unfortunate message on the screen. We followed around 51 people, but then when I actually went to Instagram, this is what I was left with. We know that you, you know, were botting. We catch you doing it again, there's gonna be problems. I think it had something to do with me probably following around one person a week and then all of a sudden I follow 51 in a day. If we can follow 200 to 250 people in one day, I think a better way is to simulate like a real user. So go online once every few hours, like a few pictures and then maybe follow a person, maybe don't. I just reset the password and we got a lot of new followers. Four are clearly from the, um, the bot. We're at 931, let's remember that. Let's get to a thousand by the end of this botting. So I'm gonna adjust the bot, dial back the like and follow probabilities. This function will do fake scrolling on any different page. Yeah, it would make sense that a, a user would scroll a little bit. <laughs> so I do this on the home page and on the hashtag page just to not set off any alarm bells. Once we're on the page, we're actually going to like a few pictures from the hashtag before moving on to the next one. And this is always going to be a random number of pictures and a random number of hashtags. Beautiful scrolling. Beautiful scrolling. You can see our logs here on the left. We're making the pause time a lot bigger between 45 minutes and two hours. This will just constantly be running in the background. I'm going to start it up now. Moment of truth. Praying I don't get banned, but if I do, it's for the good of the cause. Let's do it. Well guys, it's the next day and I'd like to say we had a good run, but that did not last very long. <laughs> we got up to 82 people followed. Jumping over to IG, every time I like a picture now, action blocked. So it looks like we got that seven day ban. This block will expire in a week. And I don't know what to say other than I'm impressed with Instagram. They even when I introduced a ton of randomness, spaced things out by up to two hours, they were still able to catch me. And uh, I guess that shouldn't be a surprise because they got probably hundreds of engineers have worked on this at one point in time. Now the worst part is I only got six new followers from this bot. I got way more just from my YouTube subscribers. So if there's a moral to this story, if you want more followers, make a YouTube channel. So this project definitely didn't go the way I expected it to. Getting a week ban for six new followers is clearly not worth it. And now I have to go write some Python to unfollow around 80 people. I will concede that Instagram has me beat on this one. Well played Instagram, well played. hope you liked that video I'm still trying to find my style so let me know what you thought and it really helps if you like the video so I appreciate that I also know it's cheesy but I want to say thank you for 20,000 subscribers that is super crazy I'm hoping to get to 100k soon so let's do this
way more videos on the way. I'm going to make this a main focus of mine. All right, I will catch you guys soon.